Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. Good morning. Come on in the room as we get ready to go into the Lord together. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to another, what I know is going to be a blessed Monday morning, 10 at 10. Uh, so come on in, invite, share, tag. Let's see what the Lord is saying this morning. Amen. Amen. It's time to celebrate. Tis the season. We're counting down to Christmas. We're counting down to a new year. Welcome to the room. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, Lee Ward. Thank you for joining me this morning. Good morning as we prepare to receive what thus say the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, please tag. Please invite. Here we grow. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you, Marlene, for joining me this morning. God bless you. God bless you. Um, I saw you pop up. Good morning, LaShonda. God bless you. Come on in the room, you guys. Tag and invite uh, as we are counting down this year. Amen. Jesus, God is still talking. He is still in the blessing business. Amen. Amen. So as we uh, prepare for those to uh, continue to join the live, we're going to go ahead and open up with prayer this morning. Thy will be done. Have your way, Lord. So here we grow. Good morning, Jennifer. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. God bless you. So here we grow, y'all. Uh, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this moment in my life. I thank you, God, that even me, Lord, that you continue to use even me. Father, take and allow the words that I speak this morning be the words of your heart. Remove shanta so that the men and women of God can commune with you, hear you, grow in you, and go get what you have for them. All these blessings I ask in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to dive right on in. I'm a few minutes behind this morning. Um, say God gave you a glimpse. Amen. And and when I was uh, posting uh, the ads, just to remind everybody of this morning's live, it was, I think there was two, one said, hang on in there. Uh, and one also said, you know, you're almost at your point, you're there. Um, all of those things connecting together. God gave you a glimpse in the spirit of what he's promised you in the natural. Amen. He gave you a glimpse. He gave you just enough for your hunger to make sure that you continue to go after what he showed you in the spirit realm. He gave you a glimpse. Amen. And I'm pretty sure that there's somebody on this live that not only agrees with that, they're walking in the glimpse right now. Here's the amazing thing. As we are counting down uh, 2019, I said a couple of weeks ago, we're not doing uh, those New Year's resolutions. We're declaring and decreeing some things are going to be released. Amen, Jesus. God has already showed you in the spirit realm. And a lot of times we find ourselves stagnant and what the Lord said, running after what we think. That's good, Holy Ghost. And that is in that stagnant place that God reminds you by giving you a glimpse. Come on, God. He'll give you a glimpse of the promise. He'll give you a glimpse on what he said. He'll give you a glimpse just to make sure that you know that he's not only the one that it is in charge, that the promise is there, that it belongs to you. <clears throat> good God Almighty. So it's amazing understanding that God has given us a glimpse of the promise. What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? Are we going to just see it and then act like we didn't see it? Are we going to see it and then complain because the glimpse may not have been all that you expected it to be? That's good, Holy Ghost. Or are we going to understand that a glimpse is just that? Faith without works is dead. God showed you the promise. He gave you a glimpse. Now it's time for you to do the work. Well, Shanta, I've been doing the work. Listen, it's amazing. We're talking about God being in the leveling up business. Sometimes we have to level up our faith. Amen, Jesus. Amen. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Sometimes we have to level up our faith to the point where you know what? Just because you've been running, running and running, it doesn't seem to be working. If you just stop running for a moment and look from whence you've come, baby, you didn't get there by yourself. That was because because God carried you through everything that you categorize as a setback. That's good, Holy Ghost, as a stumbling block. Just stop for a minute. Think about it. How far have you come after God gave you the glimpse? And are you willing to go even further to get the fullness of what God has for you? I know there's been a lot of people. God has allowed me to meet a lot of people via this live around the world. And I just, it overfloods my heart to see the businesses that are being birthed because you didn't give up. You saw that glimpse and you ran on with it. Good God Almighty. Uh, the faith, the, le the level of faith that I have seen grow as we commune every Monday in 
God. Listen, he gave you the glimpse and now you're, ro- you're running in it. You're running in it to make sure that you get to the finish line. You got in this. Okay, I hear you, Holy Ghost. And it's like you got it a little bit in, in, in how they say you, you can see it. You can see it. You can see, okay, Lord, that's what you showed me. Okay, so Lord, what is it, what is it that I got to do to take and go and get that? What is it that I got to do? Where is it that I got to be? What is it that I got to say? What is it that I got to do? What what works, Lord? Because see, you showed me that thing and it, it's messing with me on the inside. You mean to tell me that I can have access to that? You mean to tell me all the hell that I've been through, all the things that I've done in my life that you're still going to grant me access to that? He gave you a glimpse. And it's amazing how that glimpse continues to blow your mind. I know it blows mine. I know it blows my mind on a regular basis. A lot of people, you you just don't know everybody's struggle. You don't know everybody's, you know what? I got to take and pray myself to get up out of the bed this morning. I got to pray myself to continue to focus on the glimpse. That's good, Holy Ghost. I can't lose sight of the promise. That's good, Holy Ghost. I can't lose sight of the promise. A lot of people take and die and drown in tradition as to say, you know what? Well, another year is almost gone and I ain't done it yet. Well, that's the problem. You can't do it. Mm, That's good, Holy Ghost. You can't do it and you won't do it. God is the one that's going to do it. God gave you that thing on the inside of your belly. He stirred that thing up and now it's time for you to take it out into the world. I hear you, Holy Ghost. I hear you, Holy Ghost. A lot of us drown in the marketplace. We forget the foundation. Mm. (laughs) We forget the foundation that carried us over into the blessed place. Listen, you can't get blindsided. You can't get sideswiped that money is going to come in the marketplace. That's good, Holy Ghost. You're going to hear your name a lot more in the marketplace, but it does not mean that you just arrived. No, 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 no. Keep going. Keep believing because that glimpse that he gave you, honey, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what God has in store for you. It's easy to say it, but do you believe it? Because once God gave you the glimpse of the promise that he has for you, nothing else, nothing else matters. It's amazing. Shanta, you just mean, no, baby, I mean what I say. And if you're in my way of what it is that I know that God is trying to do for me, I'm going to need you to get out the way. Uh -uh, I don't have the ear space for the negativity. That's good, Holy Ghost. That's hood. Hmm. I remember telling somebody years ago, they was like, every time you turn around, you on the altar, you on the altar. I said, well, first of all, what me and Jesus is discussing ain't your business because you have no idea what I am praying to him to keep me from doing. The beautiful thing is that I know that because of the glimpse and the fact that he's allowed me to tap in, that I won't give the enemy the victory over anything that he's placed in my hands. So guess what? If you got to stay on your face and people say, wait a minute, you mean literally on my face, honey? Listen, you could be praying and on your face walking down the street because it's about your heart. Where does your heart reside? A lot, mm, I have people say all the time, "Um, you say something, oh, me and Jesus. I do admit it, me and Jesus, because I don't claim to know it all, men and women of God. I don't. I just know the Father that knows it all. I know the one that can bless it all. I know the one that blessed me with the glimpse of the greatness that he has waiting on me. Some didn't make it. Good God Almighty. Some didn't make the cut. Some I had to leave behind. Some God went ahead and called home because their assignment was up. Ah, good God Almighty. But are we going to waste their life? Are we going to waste the fact that they poured on the inside of us? Are we going to waste the fact that, you know what? They were part of the glimpse. They were a part of the glimpse. God gave us a front row seat to what works. He gave us the glimpse late in the midnight hour in our dream and you woke up on fire and you didn't understand. Wait a minute. Okay, Lord, but what was that? Now, how am I supposed to do that? It's just that simple. Lord, what was that? And how am I supposed to do that? Period. How am I supposed to get what you showed me? And God will, uh, he will open the floodgates of heaven. Good God Almighty, that's what the song is about. Come on, Jesus, let it rain. Rain on me the knowledge that I need to walk this thing out. I heard you, Holy Ghost. Somebody needs some patience. Lord, rain on me the patience that I need so that I don't, mm, so I don't abort the process. Good God Almighty, rain on me, Jesus, the tenacity that I need to hold on to all that you're giving me. Because see, my, ten- my tenacity may not be your tenacity. <laughs> My tenacity may not be your tenacity. It doesn't mean that we're any less purpose in position. God gave you a glimpse of the promise. Stop complaining. 
Take it day by day, moment by moment. And it's amazing how you may meet this person today and it was only for that moment because they was holding either the word that you needed or something in the physical that you needed and God will allow them to walk away. Our problem is we're chasing after the thing that we felt like was the deliverer when the deliverer was God. He just sent them to us. That's good, Holy Ghost. That's good. That's good. We're chasing at, okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I need you to stay over here. I need, no, no, not necessarily. Because for such a time as this, God will send you who and what you need. And it will lead you where you're supposed to be. Mm, I did that for a long time. I did that for a long time. When I knew plain as day, the person that had just walked in my life was on a temporary assignment. But see, it feels good to have someone in your corner. <laughs> it feels good to have someone in your corner. It feels good to have one, someone say, you know what? No, you ain't crazy. This thing is actually working. And then we try to hold on to, but no, 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 baby. No, no, no. Free your hands. See here, see here, closed hands can't receive. That's good, Holy Ghost. Free your hands, free your hands so that you can continue to receive the greatness that God has for us. Because the one that delivered the right now thing that I need may not have the capacity to last where God has taken me. That's good, Holy Ghost. That's good. That's good. That's good. And it's amazing that we fall victim to it because we fall victim to flesh. It felt good. Oh, that made my heart flutter a little bit. So listen, let me tell you something. I'm going to make room. That's good, God. No, God didn't tell me that he sent you, but I'm going to make room at this table because see, I need you here to validate me.